Welcome back guys. This is the third video in our series and we are going to be talking about pricing and how you can price your photo booth. This is probably top three questions that we see on the forums and definitely I get asked this question quite a bit about how to actually price your photo booth. Uh, there are couple of steps that we're going to go over here and it's going to teach you not only how to price your photo booth for your market, but also to make sure that you are running a profitable photo booth. Step one, I would like you guys to go and research all of the competition that you have in your area. And I don't necessarily care about what they're charging because it, while it's a good indication of what the market is, it doesn't mean that that's what you need to charge. And just to give you an idea, I live in a smaller city in Canada and we are a very conservative government town. Pretty much every photo booth company here will charge under a thousand dollars for four hours of time. When we first started, we were charging a thousand dollars for two hours of time. Why? Because we were were able to differentiate ourselves from the market. We weren't offering a cookie cutter photo booth with some dollar store props and some random backdrops. We had premium backdrops, we had styled props, we had attendants that showed up in suits. All that kind of stuff is stuff that made us stand out from everyone else, which is also why we were able to charge significantly more than a lot of the other companies. And again, like to this day, those companies still exist and we don't have the same clients. So we are not competition. They have their clients and I have my clients. When you are going through all of the companies that are in your area, I want you to take a look to see what is everyone doing. From this, you're going to be able to see what's missing. So if everyone is again doing cookie cutter photo booths, then you have an opportunity to do something that is above that, something very stylized, something very clean, modern, or maybe you're looking to do something that is a completely other direction. Maybe you want to do something that is very vintage, or maybe you want to do something that is very like cute and kitschy, whatever it is, find your niche and make sure that you can stand out from the rest of the crowd. The next step in figuring out your pricing is finding out what is your costs for your photo booth. Now these can be everything from your paper costs for an event, just how many prints you can actually do in an hour, your employee costs for that event, gas, all that kind of stuff. So I want you to get a spreadsheet out and start writing down everything that you can possibly think of that would be requiring some sort of a fee for you to do an event. So as an example, for us, if we have an event, we pay our booth attendants or what we call them booth butlers anywhere between 120 to $200. This depends on what kind of event we're doing. Uh, we might also have an assistant. So for us, that person would get anywhere between 15 and 25 dollars an hour again depending on the type of event so that is going to be a hard cost for us Prints, on the other hand as well um, is a bit harder to figure out but what we like to do is we figure out our prints per cost because we are in Canada and all of our paper comes from the US that amount fluctuates for us quite a bit but you can kind of figure that out by um, dividing how many prints your printer is capable of doing in an hour. Most of them range between 35 and 55 prints. And then you can divide that into how many prints you can do in an event. So two to three hours. Now to find out your per print cost, just take the number of prints that are included in that box and divide that by the cost of the box itself. Most of them work out to be between 10 to 13 cents per print. Now keep in mind that just because your printer says that it can only print so many prints per hour, you want to keep in mind that sometimes people will ask for multiple prints of the same image and that could result in additional printing. But at the end of the day, your worst case scenario for a two hour event is probably going to be less than half a box of paper. I think the most I've ever gone through in two hours was one roll, which was about 400 prints and cost me about $75. So the print costs are really, really small in comparison. Now that's still something that you want to keep in mind though. So I always like to have the worst case scenario when I'm building out my packages. In terms of backdrops and your photo booth itself, these are costs that are upfront, but I also like to split them up into my package just because there is wear and tear and eventually you are gonna have to replace things. The average lifespan of most equipment is about anywhere between five to seven years. So you wanna keep that in mind. I like to take my uh, equipment costs and then divide that by the total number of events that I would like to do in that year, just to give me an idea of depreciation costs for my equipment. So that would be my printer, my photo booth, my camera, anything like that. Once you have this sheet filled out, it'll give you a really good idea as to how much it costs you to actually run an event. And you're going to see that your hard cost with a print booth is going to be anywhere between 200 to $400 
for a two to three hour event. So you want to make sure that you are charging accordingly. Now, if you're going above and beyond, there's a lot of perceived value. That is stuff that you can charge a premium for. So for example, for us, again, a three hour event with a backdrop props and all that kind of stuff is going to average out to anywhere between 15 to 1500 to $1,700 for a wedding, let's say. Corporate event might be a little bit more because they would get branded screens. Now, going back to the three packages that we made for the website, I want you to take those three packages and start pricing them out. So now you can go back to your website and add those prices in so that everyone will know how much you are charging for your packages when they get there and they don't have to search for that information. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'm always happy to answer them in the Photobooth Supply Co. forum or even on Photobooth Network or any of the other Facebook groups that you might find me in.